first of all, there's many things that will kill plants that aren't pests. So insects are one of them, obviously fungus is another one, but uh, we also see soil conditions, uh, lighting conditions, make sure the plant is in the right spot so it's going to be happy to grow. Uh, watering is obviously hugely important. So first we have to identify what is actually the cause of the plant not doing so well, uh, and then we can come up with um, remedies or solutions to try and correct the problem. So there's about a thousand pests in your backyard, about a thousand different insects in your backyard. Of those, potentially only a hundred could be destructive. So, and of those hundreds that are destructive, almost every tree is gonna have a leaf bitten off or a little bit of fungus on it by the end of the summer. So uh, then you have to assess, okay, how much damage are we willing to tolerate? And then we have to decide what are the best uh, course of actions to take from there. So uh, insecticidal soap is always a good standby, but we have to try and figure out what the pest is and then tailor the um, solution to that specific problem. Brad details two insects you may run across in your yard. Well, aphids are always a big one. They uh, are almost invisible. Most of them are green. They're very tiny sucking insects that uh, are usually on the new growth. So you have to really get in and look at them and they can cause not uh, maybe destruction, but certainly some damage to your plants and your flowers and, and make them look uh, very sad. The Japanese beetles uh, are just starting to emerge. I saw one working in my garden this weekend. Um, they are a twofer because the Japanese beetles will eat the leaves in your plants, but they lay their eggs in your soil and the larvae will eat the roots of your plants. So you have to look at treatment for two different stages of their life development in two different areas of your garden. Right now, you may also start to see fungus affecting your garden. A lot of this stuff is spread. Uh, in the early spring when the leaves first emerge and then the damage doesn't occur till later. Quite often it's all driven by moisture and humidity and temperature. But with fungus it's not like a weed or a bug if you spray it and it dies. It's all about prevention. So with fungus you always have to remember if you see something in your garden now then come and talk to us and we can tell you how to prevent that from occurring next year. So you have to kind of be always looking ahead. Um, one of the things I recommend is a garden journal. So you keep track of what you saw in your garden at particular times of year. If you knew that, okay, I got powdery mildew last beginning of July, then maybe I have to do something about that in May or June to stop that from happening. So uh, unless you keep track and write it down, then it's really impossible to tell from one year from the next what, what is gonna be coming up. And so this way you can keep on top of it and try and treat things before they really become a, a major damaging problem.